to this video so in this video we're going to talk about clicks management console uh, in click sense so this uh, one is a little bit uh, not untouched uh, not much touched area so I'm going to start from the very basic one so the idea is that to have a series of videos where basically we're going to see from very basic to and you can have some administrative knowledge that you can manage your environment and do some basic stuff operational stuff moving around and then we will build on top of that advanced knowledge security rules and all those things so this is going to be very brief and very short video so in this video before i actually go to uh, my management console uh are we going to talk about the key pillars of management console so this is kind of a crux what i've learned there are a lot of things a lot of material but if you want to understand it you need to understand these six seven things there are users there are apps there are streams streams are basically folders or groups so i'm talking i'm just going to talk about that in the next slide then we have apps a process that apps can be published then apps can have schedules task they run so that you things get automatically updated and then we have custom properties uh, these are important one because they help us to get those security rules and define the interaction in between them user access etc and then we have security rules which actually do that okay so users users are you know what are the users they can be analyzing the data or they can be creating new applications apps apps are basically in clicks you know that it's the dashboards uh, or visualization logic data etc everything is uh, clubbed in an application and then we have streams streams are directory or folders so apps are published in streams and personal given and streams have now users have access to stream so what happens is whenever you publish an application it's a, a given to a particular stream so for example this app is published in sales stream and this user have access to sales stream this user has access to everyone stream this has to everyone stream so a user will have access to respective streams they will not have the access to all the applications so they're just going to have the access to those streams which they have access to and any app published in those streams they will get access it's just like groups or folders if you have access you have been shared a folder on a google drive or whatever so anything that goes into that particular folder you have access to that automatically so this is exactly like same okay so let's jump on to management console itself so in the management console if you see there is an overview um, tab which basically contains uh, uh, something so in this one we're just going to talk about very brief, briefly uh, about few of them we're not going to talk about everything we're just going to talk about what are some basic basic stuff and which concerns us okay so some base the starting point of uh, is app so here we have all the apps and let's just uh, when you are a new environment you will see you know people will ask you that i have created the application i want to get that on the server so you can just import an application so here i have this sample application created and i'm not going to replace anyone and just going to import it so that is the first thing that you can do you can import an application and uh, what i'm going to do is um and that is not here because i have certain filters uh just for the sake of it so um the name of the application would be scripting yep. add that here okay so here we have it okay so here we have some other areas as well uh, so I'm just going to start with more actions so you see we can export the application the importing was coming in export is coming out I can duplicate it 
I can reload I will come to that later and I can publish it as well you see that uh, we discussed that I will come to that in a while as well okay so the most important part here is the edit part if I go into edit then you see it's my name in here I am the owner of this so what happens is I can change the owner of this application just by writing the name of that particular thing. This is very important feature because many a times whenever you import an application as an administrator, someone will ask you to give you the access. So he will not be able to access to edit it unless until you give him the ownership rights. So if you give him the ownership rights, it will work in, in his my work stream. So this is important thing. You, you must be aware of that. Okay. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to go back onto apps. Okay. And I can delete it as well. So, and if I click publish, so I have this, all this apps streams, so I can publish on these streams as we discussed that, uh, we're going to create a stream as well to show you how we can do that. Okay. So the second is user. So users just nothing. This does there. There, there's no nothing to uh, to be done with the users, and then we have streams. So in streams, we can create a new stream in here, and let's just name it test stream. And whenever we create a stream, it asks us to have some basic authorization. Who is going to have the access? So you see user user id is equal to sa repository that is going to have the access to this particular application so and there is this stream id as well so normally i don't go by that uh, i will come to in a while that how i do that but you can give an access for example you can give this user an access to uh, read and publish in this particular directory so i'm just going to click on apply and go ahead with that okay so then the third thing is the licenses so any user that you have you're going to assign him whenever he comes you're going to assign him a professional analyzer license so how you can do that so you can just click in here and uh, let's um, create an analyzer access so in order to allocate it you can just click on in here and you are you can select any user that you want to give access to and you can allocate it Okay, so this was a very, very basic stuff about click management console and the things I have discussed in practicality, they will not be in a good, uh, I have seen a lot of people doing that this way uh, in comparatively uh, SME environment, which I should, I think shouldn't be doing. So, but this is a very, very basic stuff need you for you to understand. In the next video, we're going to talk about more about how we can automate this process, how it should actually be doing. So the takeaway of this video is you need to understand there are apps. You can create, upload an app. You can publish them. You can delete them. You can do some changes. Then you have users which get automatically imported from Active Directory or someone, whenever someone tries to log in, uh, you have Windows authentication and all that stuff. If it's authenticated user, third party authentication is set up properly that you will be able to lock in. And that is how that can be done. That is an, uh, by proxy, uh, setting up virtual proxies and all that. Um, for that, um, you can search on, uh, on the virtual proxies. Uh, I'm not going to touch on those uh, at the moment because they require certain other uh, pretext to be there for example if I had to set up a virtual proxy I have I need to have a certain um, proxies as well so I'm not going to talk about that at this moment uh, but we're going to definitely touch upon them in advanced videos and the third thing is you need to see that you can create streams and uh, you just saw that we in whenever we create a stream uh, there is an option to create a security rule that who has access to that stream we can give the username or we can make it dynamic as I discussed through custom properties so that thing uh, creating security rules through custom properties to give access on a stream that will be our next video's topic
Bye-bye.